Hi guys, this is Maverick Pua, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1 Question 4. Alright, so let's take a look at this question. Question 4, the peroxide ion contains two oxygen atoms joined by a single covalent bond. In this question, cross will represent the electron from barium and dot will represent the electron from oxygen. So which dot and cross diagram shows the bonding present in barium peroxide? Now this question is actually very straightforward because we know that barium, it is a group 2 metal. So in terms of charges, when it forms a cation, it will have to be a plus 2 charge. So if I look at options A, B, C, D, we can straight away eliminate option A where barium it is a positive one charge and B where barium it is also a positive one charge. So we will have to decide between options C and D, barium 2 plus and barium 2 plus. Now the next thing we will have to look at is peroxide. If I consider the differences between options C and D, option C, the peroxide, it is an overall minus two charge. Option D, it will be an overall minus one charge. But if I compare the dot and cross diagram for peroxides in both instances, actually for both guys, it is exactly the same because the question already mentioned that there's a single covalent bond between two oxygen atoms. So between these two oxygen, there are only two electrons, which will represent a covalent bond. Similarly, for this peroxide arrangement here, it is also the same, two electrons between two oxygen. And you notice for both options, each oxygen has an additional electron. Now this cross, remember it comes from barium, which is mentioned inside this question. So each oxygen atom has an additional electron that comes from barium. So I have a cross here for this oxygen, I have a cross here for this oxygen. So in this case, I would expect peroxide to have an overall minus two charge because this species in total, it will gain two electrons from barium because we draw two crosses. So the overall charge for this guy should be a minus two because it gains two electrons. Now, if I look at option D, what is wrong is even though we draw one additional cross for this oxygen, which means that this oxygen gains an additional electron, same goes for this oxygen. So this oxygen also gains an additional electron from this cross here. Now I have two additional negative charges or additional electrons, but the overall charge for this species, it is only written as a minus one charge. So of course, this means that option D is wrong and option C will have to be the answer. So the answer to this question is actually pretty straightforward. You have to be option C. And in principle, we should be familiar with both barium 2 plus and peroxide. Peroxide, of course, we are more comfortable with hydrogen peroxide. And if I want to deduce the charge of the peroxide ion, we can actually try to link this from hydrogen peroxide. So you notice what I've drawn here straight away. I know that barium definitely it will be a plus two charge. Now for peroxide, if it forms an anion, we can actually deduce this from hydrogen peroxide. So let me show you what I mean because hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2. Now H2O2, if I draw out the Lewis structure, it will be something like this. Hydrogen will be attached to oxygen and single bonded to an oxygen, single bonded to another hydrogen. So this will be the Lewis structure for hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Now how do I convert hydrogen peroxide to the peroxide anion, it is pretty simple. I just treat hydrogen peroxide as diprotic. That means it can donate two H pluses. I can just break this OH bond and this hydrogen becomes a plus. Then this oxygen will gain a negative charge, kick up this H plus. Then I can do the same for the other OH bond, correct? I just need to break this OH bond. This hydrogen becomes a plus. This oxygen becomes a minus. So we can actually deduce this peroxide anion from hydrogen peroxide. I think this way of dealing with it might be a little bit more straightforward because in principle, we should be more comfortable with hydrogen peroxide. So we just deduce based on what hydrogen peroxide is like. So therefore, what your peroxide anion would also look like. So as mentioned, this question is pretty straightforward. This answer to this question would be option C. All right, so that was the discussion involving paper one question four. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, 
and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.